Hi guys, today we will keep drawing next exercises, exercise number 11. And thank you so much for joining me. And I was just writing what it's all about. And when you get your journal, wait, let me fix my camera here. I got a new arm, so it doesn't really listen to me. <laughs> So when you get your journal, it's look like this. Uh, let me switch camera here if I can. No, I'm not going to switch it. So I'm live on Facebook as well, but Facebook only is showing my table. So when you get this uh, journal, you can also do the same thing. This journal, it's connect to your inner goddess. And I'm completing my journal here. So my journal here. <laughs> and one is wait for you. This is priceless. Ladies, when you start to brainstorm with your inner child and your inner goddess, and put the colors and put the your intention in what you work on, like focusing while your inner child busy drawing, and you can do a writing of your ideas, of your insights, things start to happen so much easier in your life. We don't give enough time for ourselves. And when we give enough time for ourselves, we focus more on what we want. And what happens is then we start to refire, fire up our neurons in a new way. So we see those big knots here, those big, big knots. This is a picture of the neurons, right? And those big knots represent your habits so if you really want to get something you need to connect your neurons in a new way so this way you will get new pathways and new hello <laughs> and you're going to get a new possibilities new opportunities i can see you right there your life <laughs> And, and then you will get, this uh, journal really will help you to rewire your new neurons. So that's why it's very easy and a very gentle way to manifest what you want. Because you change your vibration while you do drawing, while you do writing. And this is scientifically proven method, especially when you doodle. So what you're going to see how I do it, I add more, more shapes and forms. And when I do it, so I re, like help my mind to get more ideas. I attract more ideas. I attract more, um, more, I see more pictures of how I will do it, how I going to, um, you know, uh, reach my goals. And this needs to be in your mind. So this is basically, you can sell this as a GPS or you draw in a portal to whatever you want. And this, this is like for your inner child, it's a great way to play this game of life. Okay, let me show you. I switched the camera down on the table so this way you can see how I take my lines and what I do with those lines. And um, let me read you before we move on. So the exercise 11, it's complete the next drawing while focusing on effective connection and relationship with your surroundings. Notice the feelings in your body just by visualizing your actions and focus on the positive aspects. Release 
any blocks in your body by breathing deeply and calming yourself. It is crucial for this process to first stabilize in your body. Only then will you see a real difference. See, it's very important to, to align with your body. So when you align with your body, you feel uh, you feel this either tension or you feel calm and kind of feel um, comfortable in your body. So this is a good sign when you feel comfortable in your body. Then you more open for energy flow through your body. Then it's a very good time for you to think about your dreams, about your goals, and how you would like to go through. And also visualize how you see yourself in the future, how you see yourself when you will achieve your goals. How would you feel there? So it's a very good um, energy would be open up for you to connect with your future or with connect yourself with that parallel reality that already exists for you because it's all in your mind and you can shift there as soon as you vibrate on the same vibration so that's what we try to do here we help our body to vibrate in a beautiful same vibration of your goals, of your ideal self or best future self, uh, how you would like to see yourself, okay? So let me switch the camera down so this way you will see, or I maybe even leave the camera this way because I already recorded on Facebook. Yeah, maybe I'll leave it like this. So this way I'll combine the videos together. And um, you will see my face and you will see what I do. So this is um, some markers I'm going to pull over here. And let's begin. Um, I will have the link to my YouTube. Actually, you can get to my YouTube account from the... Um, from the, from my account here and see all the recordings for all pictures I did that all the work I did all the exercises so you can pick and choose and draw with me it's very easy you don't really have to um, copy me because nobody can copy anybody you be your own creator of the picture that it's um, in front of you so feel free and remind yourself that you are perfect your inner child perfect she is perfect as it is allow her to feel comfortable doing what she do feel comfortable with the marker so what I do here I take those lines out out to the infinite because in my eyes, the picture stopped here on a, this page, but for our subconscious, the picture really um, continues indefinite, like none, you don't know where it stops, so just allow yourself to, uh, to dream that big, so it's just a little part of you, little image that you put your intention for. And I have my idea of what I want to achieve in my, like my goals and my dreams here in this picture. And you will have yours. So just allow yourself to dream big and in each line represent the energy flow. In this energy flow, be generous to yourself. Put those lines as thick as possible because um, you want this. You want more energy in whatever you do, right? So the black color, black lines. It's actually very good thing. Without black color, 
nothing killing disease. So we, uh, black is very powerful. And in this uh, method, uh, black um, represent uh, energy, like I said. So what I do here, I will round the corners, I add some lines and I will round page on the bottom because sometimes it's skin. Those markers can um, bleed through through to another page. It's not, so one is enough. Like if you put a like this, if you want to put your protect another page, here's what I do. Because those markers are very, very strong. Okay, so let me move this over. And um, i show you on TikTok in a minute right now how I do around the corners. This is very powerful method to help you manifest your dreams and desires. Because you helping your subconscious to align uh, with your goal, and subconsciously you start to see steps that you need to go through. Uh, maybe consciously you don't understand how you will get there, but it's okay because it might come to you later. It's not always come to you right away. Just trust the process and relax in your body. But keep in mind your goals and desires. Keep in mind what is it in your mind? What would you like to achieve? What would you like to have in your life? And see, I make those lines very thick, much thicker to the out. Um, so in my mind, I imagine that this connection to the fifth dimension, to the universe, very strong. And my idea here in the middle, so I make a very thick lines here, like much thicker. Um, so in my mind, I imagine that those connections to universe, they very strong and I feel supportive and I feel safe because I see how much I, mm, I connect with universe. And while you do drawing yourself, just feel what you, what's going on in your body. How do you feel? If you feel you want to add more lines, please do so. Um, after I finish uh, rounding my corners here, I will add some more figures like circles or possibly triangles. I'm not sure yet. So I go with the flow and try to do the same as well. So just Listen to your intuition. What your intuition tells you. Is your intuition like to have uh, more figures? Just do so. And I explained to you um, that circles means um, harmony, connection, like good intentions. Um, so like um, beautiful kind of circle, like, you know, it's a um, nice energy, nice energy, it's soft. Triangles, it, you put triangles, <clears throat> I recommend, put triangles when you 
have a goal or you have a and you think about that project and then you put triangle in the picture and I show you right now how I do it because triangle meaning ready to go and when you put triangle you even might feel so kind of urge in your body you might feel butterflies in your belly so this is good sign because you feel energy if you don't feel butterflies in your belly find those butterflies if you if it's all about project because that's where your energy Stop here, and I show you how I end up. Some. other shapes. So, and when you go through the process, keep remind yourself what was your uh, writing all about. Uh, because it's important here subconsciously you connecting the dots and your subconscious feel much more confident by focusing on something and start to see the way out in a perfect way possible for you because remember your subconscious always try to protect you and if it's for example something some project and you feel um, you don't feel confident about this or you feel a little bit nervous about this it's only because your subconscious try to protect you from changes uh, try to protect you from um, keeping your comfort zone um, so in you know what happens when you always stay in comfort zone it's not always comfortable it can be just because you used to be in that comfort zone it can be very negative uh, but just because your mind um, or your subconscious familiar with that it might try to keep you in that state so that's why I always listen to your heart too if you really want to move forward um, so Feel, feel it out and listen to your intuition. So I'm almost done here. So I'm going to show you see how it looks like. And now I will add some... I like to add a couple triangles here. So triangle means for me in this very picture uh, really steps step forward like goals that I want to stick to it and go and do it and give myself time and encourage myself to move forward and just um, just do it you know so like I'm talking to my inner child and my inner child feels like okay let's put triangles it's it's something cool okay and I just spontaneously like I feel which way I, you know, I just don't think about. I just allow my inner child take charge of it and just make a triangle. And um, I really don't like to touch face of my um, this inner goddess. So I will put another triangle. I like to let's see how it goes. And keep her face inside of this triangle. And I make those triangles very nice and thick. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, each line is perfect itself. And after I make a triangle, I again round the corners. So this way, when I round the corners, I show you what it means because let's say when you look on top 
when you look on top of picture, it look like they're crossing. But when you put it on side, they might not to touch each other. But so mentally, to make a great connection with this triangle and all my picture, I round the corner so I tied them up. I tied up those lines together, and then for my subconscious, subconscious, it look like okay, uh, they are stick together very tight. So and what that means? That means my triangles tied up with my project and those triangles help to take those <coughs> help to take those um, steps uh, much more conf with more confidence. So, and you will see much better picture on my YouTube because I put those two videos together. So for you, it would be much easier to see it um, on that full video on YouTube. And I appreciate you here. I appreciate you watching. And um, please consider that um, join um, our classes. It's so much fun, so you um, uncover yourself as a you know, new powerful person. And especially when you use this beautiful journal, you awaken your inner goddess to help your feminine powers to unfold and show you how wonderful you are. I'm almost done. And after I connect all these lines together and round up my corners, only then I take a color and color and spontaneously because I like to allow my inner child take charge of it. So then my inner child have fun. And um, after I'm done, I analyze what those colors might mean to me, but I try not to analyze uh, while I'm drawing because each color has it, its own power and its own meaning. And you can know so much more about the colors, colors itself. So, but I recommend to go with the flow, um, even if you know what colors means. Just go with the flow because it's very interesting to see outcome. I'm almost done. Couple more minutes, and I will take colors. I think I'm done. So we could happen here. See, I have those two triangles. This is my two big goals I like to accomplish. And um, so I feel good about that. And this is a good, um, good vibration I leave with those lines. And now I take my crayons and I start to color. They have a whole box of uh, these wonderful crayons. Some of them very tiny because I use them all the time. Look at the first color, it's blue. Look how small they are. It's very tiny. Um, okay, let me just go with the flow. And try to create flow with colors. 
don't keep the color in one space, like in one little shape. Try to move the color one side to another. And also another suggestion that uh, if you make a color somewhat like a little bit darker on one side of the figure and lighter to another side on another side, then it's always nice to blend in another color into it. For example, I do blue now and blue looking very good with yellow. And um, which one? Brown pretty good, light brown. I like it with yellow the most. Green is pretty good. Yellow and blue create green itself. Um, blue also very good looking, very good with purple and pink. If you put pink and blue together, they create purple. <laughs> How are you doing guys? If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll answer any questions you have. I'll tell a little bit more about this um, method. This method I love because it's helping you to relieve tension in your body. And it's not meditation, it's meditative art. So when you are cannot meditate, you um, too busy in your mind, or you know you have things to, to do and you, you just cannot relax, this is a great way to relax. To relax and you just kind of um, make your inner child and those worried thoughts Calm down. And this method like Feng Shui, helping you to harmonize your feelings first. And when you're in harmony, when you calm, then it's much easier to come up to decision, um, come up with solution, and you in a different mindset. Try to take at least uh, three colors, then you will see the picture will be vibrant, three colors or more. Uh, if you take, or you can leave it black and white. Some people like it black and white, and it's um, the most um, work you do when you round the corners, when you just go over each line and just retouch each line, so then you kind of create this um, portal to your future self, how you see this uh, goal to accomplish, how you see yourself, how would you feel there. Uh, so this is main work happened there. Uh, color, it's just a bonus. 
comes with <laughs> comes with this song. And I really, I always color my pictures because um, because I like to color. <laughs> always like to color. I show you one, one second. Maybe I should just turn it over. So look at this. Maybe it would be more fun for you to watch since I'm drawing or since I'm coloring. See, I put the second page here, so it's very important. Look at this. I almost like messed up a little bit here, but this is going to be enough to protect another page. I will just trust your insights and keep remind yourself that you are perfect. The way you draw, nobody will draw the same way as you are. So I feel like it's enough blue for me. And let me choose some other color here. Mm, I really feel like this purple pink, which is some. Beautiful. And remember, white color is also color. So if you want to leave some white, it's also looking pretty good. Okay, guys, I'm done, and um, thank you so much for watching. I will post this video on YouTube so you can see whole process. And please join me tomorrow. Tomorrow I do next exercise. Have a wonderful evening, and I get back with you at 9 p.m. Las Vegas time. Thank you. Bye.